So here we are in uh, Chepstow Castle, a classic Norman Motton Bailey castle. And you can tell it was very important to the Normans to build a castle here because they built it just a year after the conquest in 1067. Not only that, but they built it directly out of stone. Most Motton Bailey castles were built out of earth and wood first and then developed later on. This one was immediately built out of stone. The reason it's such an important strategic place is because it links this area here, Chepstow links southern Wales to England. Okay, If you wanted to move from one to the other, you had to pass through here really. Um, and this was a big problem and, or, or opportunity as well for the Normans because southern Wales had not yet been dominated by the Anglo-Saxons and certainly not by the Normans. So they built this castle here firstly to try and extend their reach into southern Wales but also to defend England against Welsh raids that would come in and attack livestock and farms and, and villages and things like that. Um, we can also tell that it was very important because um, this area was put under the control of William Fitzoburn. He was a cousin of William, he was one of the few people who we know definitely fought at the Battle of Hastings alongside him and he had a very close connection to William. His father had been a bodyguard of William when William was just a teenage boy and fighting to survive and exert his control over the rebellious Duke of Normandy when he was so young. And so there was a great connection between William Fitzoburn and William himself. Um, William Fitzoburn was made a marcher earl in charge of this area, uh, which was a marcher earldom. Now we know that being a marcher earl in charge of a marcher earldom gave you immense power. You were basically almost like a king in control of your earldom. That meant you could set up your own courts, um, invent your own laws, uh, build your own castles, with all of this without the permission of the king. And the reason these powers were given to him was not just as a reward for the help that William provided for William um, of Normandy during the uh, conquest, but also um, to stamp Norman authority and control this area of the world. It was a violent area, a march around with Welsh raids, Welsh uprisings, English trying to, Normans trying to control that part of the country. So it was a violent, dangerous place where the situation could change very quickly. As a result, a march earl had to respond to the changing situation very quickly, hence all these powers and rights he had um, to impose Norman control here. Here, from one of the many bases, Chepstow Castle.